Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can create a new table for only top values. Well, suppose you have a big table like the sales orders table uh, like this one and I will show you how you can get this data and then you only want let's say uh, top products or top sub product category with their sales information, right? So if that is a scenario that you are looking for where you want to have a separate table for top values then this is where I am going to explain. Okay, so where is this data? Well, this data you will find in the link in the description where I have this folder link data set where you will see this data set sheet and in this data set sheet you are going to have the data set in the row number 19 which is sample superstore. So that is about your data and one quick information is about uh, the Power BI videos that I keep in a Google Sheet. So the link of this as well is present in the description where you can come search any of my 300 plus videos that I have posted uh, and uh, jump onto that video using the link that is present. The best way is that uh, you don't have to scroll through the multiple videos in YouTube uh, because it makes searching very difficult. Over here you can easily search as well as you can bookmark it and use it whenever you need it. So this is where, you know, uh, I am keeping all of my video and I will continue to maintain it so that you have it whenever you need. All right. So going back to the scenario, right, once you have, let's say, imported the data using the Excel workbook option, that is a very beginner option. So this is slightly uh, intermediate level, if not advanced. So what we need to do is we need to basically go in into the table view, right? And uh, here we have the option of new table. So that is what we will going to use clicking on the new table and in the new table we will going to say that top 10 sub product categories sales right and now we will going to use the function which is the top n which helps us bring the top values because it brings the top 5 top 10 whatever we specify in this case let's say top 10 it brings the 10 rows to us. Now we need to specify the table and here is the tricky part where we need to use the summarize function, right? And in that we need to provide the table name. What is our base table, which is orders, right? And uh, what are the columns, group by columns that we need? And that is a subcategory, right? And then we have the sales. And in that we will add the sum of uh, sales or the sales, right? And we will close this sum, we will close summarize as well. And then we will use this sales as the newly created field over here as our parameter uh, to bring the top values. Okay, once I hit enter, you will see that and you can validate your result, right? You can see if I do sort descending, I get the 10 values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? So that way I can make this as complex as I want if I need two columns order subcategory and let's say state or order categories and let's say uh, there are other fields if I try to see this region right product name customer names things like those so we can bring basically as much complexity as we want but remember as you bring more complexity making your customer understand becomes more difficult right so make sure you know this is a simple scenario or a use case where you will continue to get in the result in a separate table if this is what you are looking for for your business scenario so that is what i wanted to show you i'll meet you now in the new video with a new topic